Well, I'm moving right along here. Little 44 orc side shot. I'm actually quite impressed I haven't died since that like one time down at the uh, start of the um, game of this run, but whatever. All right, so I did some thinking about like, you know, my tinkering and stuff like that. And I thought of something very important. So this is Sopple's Force Salve. It basically takes stacks of hers, Bilberry, and all this stuff to basically make this stuff. And I think what's happening, I'm actually missing like the requirements up here, not down here for like the solves. So I was basically going to do a little quick like, you know, uh, test basically here. We're going to make some tier 4 solves and then we're going to see if I can make stuff with it. Like this basically takes like, you know, um, some stuff. Let's see if I get like, you know, some like tier 4 of this stuff going. See if I can make my, I'm a stop before a solve like 4 basically. So. I'll make one of those. Make the frost solve. And we'll make the water solve. And that enables me to make the tier 4 unstoppable force solve. So now I've got the uh, great unstoppable force solve. Which essentially will. Um, well, let's just look at them right now. So this one basically increases my. Um, Saves by 116 versus 91. It lasts for 18 tur 18 turns. I basically will like boost up my healing factor to um, let's see here 250. Now here's something I know by the way. I think like this healing mod, your healing mod I don't think can go b above 250 percent. So whenever you use like one of these things, it basically boosts up your healing mod like that much and no more. And something else by the way, you will notice by the way that if I use like the powerful and supple salt, this like has like you know a timer four. If I hit like this one, it's got a timer of five. So basically increasing levels will like you know improve that a little bit stuff. And we'll basically just go in and um, get rid of the old one now. See I couldn't make that one because I basically you know couldn't make it, but whatever. Now Thinking about Tinkers here, I basically have like, you know, Tinkers sort of up the yin yang, so to speak, here. And, well, what I was thinking about doing for like, you know, this episode, right to start here, we're gonna do a little bit of tinkering, I think. Like, I've been going like, you know, through this with like, you know, really crappy Tinkers, like, you know, a tier one here and a tier one there, a tier one there, no, nothing on the rings or the, the light or, you know, some other stuff I basically have here. What I'm thinking about doing is, I'm thinking about like upgrading this stuff so I can like get some better effects from it all. So maybe I'll do that. And see what we can get. So, let's look at the slots. And here's what we basically have. We have for the belt, there's three types of like, uh, quarter slots I basically have. I have back support. Which basically reduces my fatigue, increases my maximum cubrance. I have the fungal um, web, which basically gives me 100 life when I use a solve. I have the, uh, well, that's not a tier 4 by the way. I have the power distributor, which basically lets me um, increase my things here. So, maybe I'll like use this so I get more like health when I basically use stuff. So let me get this going. We'll build one of those. And we're going to equip it basically, so... We'll touch that. Get rid of this old one. And let's go through the other stuff. So that is belt. Here's body. So for body, I basically have the spike attack, which basically gives me more armor. Um, damage when I hit him in the lead. There's armor reinforcement, which basically gives me more armor hardiness in the armor. And you'll note by the way that this like stuff takes like um, lumps of Vortium and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna hold, hold off on like using the lumps of Vortium, by the way, because um, I may want to save like the lumps of board team so I can like, make like you know um, where is it? Palo, for example, it takes like four of this basically to make. And if I look at you know some of this stuff down around here, uh, not that one. The hand cam might take like lumps of board team and stuff like that. So there's basically all this like stuff I can like you know make and it like requires like certain like certain stuff. I could get like hand can five, but that'd be useful, but whatever. Um that's hands. By the way, you got like these like things in your hands that you can make use of. 
Anyways, let's look at the body stuff here. So, there's like the life support thing there. Nope, by the way, I need a lot of the stacks of gold leads for like the life support thing. And I probably need like a tier 5 and softball 4 style for it as well. And... Let's see here. What I think about doing... Hmm. So, the steam powered armor is probably a thing that's like the set item with like the helmet. But whatever. There's crystal plating. This basically gives me stats. Here's the um, armor reinforcement. It gives me other stuff. Maybe I'll make like a tier 4 um, armor reinforcement for my body. That will basically um, replace the iron armor reinforcement. So more armor is always good. We have some cloak stuff. We have waterproof, which basically gives me nature and cold. I have the fireproof, which basically gives me light and fire. I have the grounding strap, which basically gives me stun, freeze, and uh, chance of uh, you know resistance to lightning there. I don't have um, stun freeze resistance up to like you know maximum yet, so it might make sense for me to like replace this like you know good one here with that. Just you know, just to get that up a little bit. So maybe we'll do that. And it's like the nice thing about tinkering, you can get all these benefits if like you um like you know do this stuff. And I'll help out a little bit. We'll put this on. That's cool, but we don't really need it. Okay, here's the rocket boots and the moss tread. So now here's something else by these are like talents that are basically being granted from these things. And I'm not exactly sure how these like talents sort of work. Something else by is that um, if I go get my overlay here and go to this website, um, this is basically like uh, someone who did like a, um, a what you call it, an Excel spreadsheet type of thing. Whoops, I did that wrong. Um, no, here's what I'm gonna do. We're basically gonna go to um, Oh, that's just not working. Whatever. Web browser. We're gonna go to the Tales of Machiel. Come on. I hate it when my keyboard is like this, but whatever. Forms. So I recently asked a little bit about like, you know, tickers and stuff like that, so we can like just quickly do this here. We'll go in here, I'll go to um da 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 Alright, this is one of the bad things about it when you're looking for like, you know, that thing that you basically were looking for. This is ideas, that's why I, this is the wrong place. I actually want to um, go to somewhere else. Dumb questions. Here we go. Question about seam saws. That's not right. Let's take your effects to uh, different tiers. So, basically, some of this spreadsheet, um, all take your recipes is in spoilers, and you can basically go to like a Google or like Excel or wherever in here. And you basically get this nice big, big list that basically tells you all about like the different tinkers and stuff. This is probably like, the best thing I'll have for like you know going through all this stuff. So um, I basically want to look up you know, like these tinkers here, which basically include the rocket boots and the moss tread. So we'll basically look for like the rocket boots which are down here. They basically take like you know um, two mechanical and this is a nice thing about this list. You actually you like all, like what you need for like you know the talents and stuff like that. So rocket boots, basically how rocket boots work. Um, at like tier 1, they only give you like 100% move speed and like they let you do these trails on the floor. As you get like higher levels in it though, it basically lets you like, you know, get more, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Speed. Though it takes 15 uh, steam every turn to use it. So that's like one thing I can do with my boots. And if I go down, look at for all like, the other stuff, here's connect stablers, stabilizers. These give me knockback immunity, pin immunity, teleport immunity, physical save. Some really nice stuff, but, uh, I don't have the connect stead layer, so I'm not going to worry about that schematic. There's the solves. There's the moss tread. So moss tread basically gives me stealth, and it gives me moss tread, which basically lets me do places grassy moss where you walk, dealing nature damage and reducing movement speed. And it has a chance to do what? Chance to pin enemies on it. So that's like a nice little pinning thing that you could possibly use. That might be useful for like, you know, a ranged character that um, I am right now. So having like knockback ability re resistance would be also good if it can connect stabilizers. These would get me the best because they give me knockback immunity and pain immunity, which would be much more helpful. But whatever. Um, you can't have everything, you know. So, whatever. 
At least I'm pretty sure I, I don't have the Tinker here to get. Nah, I can look at all this stuff to see if I don't know it by way. So there's the Acid Groove. I've yet to get that. We'll buy that, maybe. Know it. Know it. can buy that. So we'll get all that stuff, and then we'll um, learn so I basically have access to it. There's so many, like, you know, tinkers you can use. Alright, um, so I don't have Connect Stabilizer, which sucks, but I do have the Moss Treads. Getting these at tier 4 would basically mean I could use, like, Moss Treads, which would be very awesome for, like, you know, possibly running away some stuff. So maybe I'll replace that. We'll basically, like, you know, get rid of, like, this, because I don't really care about it. We'll put on a great moss tread for now. And that'll be like, you know, a good escape bot type item. So I'll leave it here. So basically, like, you know. Where'd I put it? Moss tread. Moss tread basically is like, you know, grasping moss that lets you pin stuff. So it basically reduces moon speed by 52, 56%, and has a chance to pin him by 42% for four turns. Awesome thing to have. Possibly. So, like, this is something, like, you can do, like, you know, all the excess stuff that you, like, make from, like, your, like, you know, uh, meltdowns and such. And you make all these, like, nice little tinkers to make use of. And here's, like, the hand stuff. So, I've got the hands creation, like, this stuff right here. I have itching powder. That grants me itching powder. I've got the toxic tonic cancer launcher. That gives me another talent. Soft directors give me prick soft. Fatal tractors give me fatal tractor. The shocking tracks give me shocking tox. Viral needle gives me viral needle. Iron Grip gives me Iron Grip. So, all this stuff here, uh, besides, like, you know, like, Discoon Disarm Immunity and maybe, like, you know, um... Well, that's basically it. Only the Iron Grip basically gives me, like, you know, this, like, Disarm Immunity thing. All these other things are just, like, talent-only type things, so... If I go back to my thing here and, like, look at hand stuff... So, we have, like, Toxic Cancel on, so basically... Create an ally that releases Poison Gas Ray turns, follow the Needle Gun, basically, like, you know... Fires are cool, physical damage, inflicting random disease that lowers strength, dex, and con for 20 turns. Some cool stuff basically there. Basically it does like what? This uh... Cool thing right here. Ghoul Flesh. So you need Ghoul Flesh to make that because you know it's a ghoul weapon. Now let's see here. Let's, there's the hand can down here. The hand can is basically like, you know, shoot your current um, ammo at tier 5, you shoot a second time. Essentially, that's like, you know, uh, a weapon that you basically shoot your um, ammo with, I guess. So I guess if you get disarmed, you can use like a hand cannon to basically shoot, uh, shoot at them. Uh, the weapon automation one-handed. Basically, uh, weapon automation one-handed deploys the weapon in your inventory as an ally similar to Cursed Sentry, so... There'd be like a way to basically, like, you know, make like, you know, allies to help yourself. Fatal Tractor is basically deploys an ally that makes enemies attack it and inflicts damage for five turns. That sounds like a cool idea. If I like, you know, want to like cause stuff to basically like, you know, not attack me. Iron Grip basically gives me disarm immunity, which is cool, but whatever. Spring Grapple basically gives me the Spring Grapple, pulls the target towards you, dealing unarmed damage and pinning them. And shows unarmed stats. Here's Saw Pierre, shows the to Saw, fires a beam that inflicts physical damage and bleeding. That might be the best thing for me to get. Physical Saw, um, for like, you know, use. And we have Shocking Talks, which basically in inflicts lightning damage and arcs up to additional enemies that are at most uh, two spaces apart. That's kind of cool. Volley Strategy deploys an ally that fires bolts of lightning at nearby enemies for eight turns. So there's like, you know, a type of like, um, helping ally type of thing. There's Flash Power and Itching Power down there. So. Flash power basically blinds in a cone, and Itching Power basically causes a uh, chance to, for a chance to fall in the cone. So that's what those are all about. I'll probably get like the Iron Grip, I think, because that probably is the most useful thing to get, so... We'll get Iron Grip, you know, type of 4 perhaps in a bit, but we'll leave this for a little bit. We'll look at the other stuff in case I'm running out of, um, you know, Stratolite to basically mix stuff here. I really would like if I could see how much Stratolite I have left, but um, I still haven't figured out where you can find, you know, the... how much Stratolite you have. Oh well. Alright, so I have like these head things and I have like the main hands and I have the quiver stuff down here and the weapons. So I have the brain cap, which is essentially like, you know, um, it gives you the arcane disruptive, disruptive wave, mental save, and uh, mind resist. 
Mental Stimulator, which basically gives me Mental Stays and gives me Cunning. The Focus Lens, which basically gives me Sight Radius and Infravision Radius. And Blind Fight, apparently at uh, Tier 5. Or Tier 4. That's kind of cool. I might want to get that just for, like, the, uh, this, the Blind Fight. And Air Recycles here, too. It returns Air, gives you Science Immunity. That's a nice thing for probably, like, you know, casters if you can make it. But Focus Lens, perhaps. You know, I wouldn't like getting the extra sight radius. That would be really useful, possibly. Let's make that just, you know, just to have it. I'm going to actually have extra sight radius. I'll touch that instead, and I'll be able to see, like, a little bit longer. So, that's my head out of the way. Here's all the quiver stuff and the weapon stuff. Let's look at the weapon stuff. So we have like, you know, um, this is a groove that basically deals fire damage and ignites to the ground. So that's basically attaches to a weapon. And explosives four for it. This basically gives me our penetration and physical crit chance. That's actually a pretty awesome thing. We've got burst and strikes can trigger a fire crack to damage and repel foes. Actually, what do I have right now? It might be what's uh, caused me to like, you know, repel stuff right now. So, this is what's actually causing stuff to be, to be repulsed, by the way. Um, I'm using, like, the crew Thunderclap aspects by pushing stuff away every so often, so... That's actually worth noting that, like, you know, I have that Tinker on right now. So, there's Thunderclap coating. There's Lightning Coil right here. It's basically, on Critical Strange Drains, a free tile Lightning Beam. That's kind of cool. Winter Shield X basically deals cold damage and slows. That's not bad. That, like, slow enemies so that, you know, they're basically slower coming after me. There's the Astro Crew of this God Bed, basically deals damage and reduces armor. The Silver Fair Guy basically increases my damage against um, stuff. That's actually probably the most effective thing because it increases my damage type. There's basically going to be a lot of undead demons and horrors like in like my future, in like the end game, I think, so... That's going to be useful. Deal uh, that and drains resources, that's not that great. Mana Quell basically... Uh, mana Rejection on Spell Hit, and Chance can cause Lightning, so... There's something else. I may want to get this, actually, because this sounds like the most effective thing. I mean, Razor Axe also sounds useful, but... Eh, I think I'll, I'll take the thunder, thunder Clap thing. We'll make that. And we'll just, like, you know, put it, like, you know, to my item. And I could probably attack something at Mindstar, too, I guess, so why not? I'll, um... Make, like, another thing for my, um... Mindstar. Yoink. Not sure if that really matters, but whatever. And let's still look at what else I can make. So I've got like, you know, the quivers down here. So the quivers are, are like, you know, stuff I've been using every so often. And I got hands as well to look into as well. These are like all your like, you know, hands and like quiver are like your um, talent stuff type things. <coughs> One moment. A little bit of water, because, you know, I'm talking here a little bit. Alright, so I got, like, all this, like, you know, quiver stuff here. I've got the hand stuff to go through. So, quivers basically give you, like, you know, all these, like, different types of things you can make, basically, fire off, like, your, your weapon. Ammo type stuff. So, explosive shell basically inflicts physical damage in a race of one. F flare shell basically blinds enemies and lights up the area in radius. Uh, Incinerate is unused apparently, so I don't think it was used. Solid Shell basically knocks back to target. Saw Shell basically inflicts fizzle damage. Magnetic Shell basically lowers defense and increases fatigue. Anti-Magic Shell basically increases arcane resource burn. Corrosive Shell basically inflicts acid damage and lowers all that stuff. The Hook Shell basically, if the target is an animal pulled towards you, and if the target is an empty space, you are pulled there towards there instead. So that could be useful for like, getting away from stuff. Voltic Shell basically increases, uh, inflicts uh, light damage to nearby enemies. Voltaic Shell basically releases nourishing moss that uh, deals nature damage and heals you. And Toxic Shell basically um, inflicts blight damage over several turns and reduces global speed. That might be the most useful thing right here, a Toxic Shell, because that could, like, you could like, make, it, you know, make it easier for me to basically kill stuff. But in the end of the game, so it might not be that useful either, because you know, I might not be able to inflict it in the first place. 
this inflicting damage is probably the best thing to get, so the saw shell might be the best thing to look into. So maybe I'll make a saw shell. And we'll just go in and get rid of the old saw shell. That's apparently missing, so we'll get rid of it. Yeah, so there's saw shell. So now it's inflicting a massive amount of damage. And it'll basically inflict, um, you know, physical damage over time. Bleed effect. Awesome. Yeah, so I have the iron grip as well. I bet that damage will go up, by the way, the iron grip stuff, so... The thing is, like, you know, I could get this other stuff. Let's just quickly look through the hand stuff again. Blind. Uh, that's basically stuff that has to be, like, you know, saved against. That might be cool to get the Voltic Sentry just to, kind of, you know, deploy it to help myself out, but... Stop projection is probably still the most useful thing to get. Or, like, you know, disarm immunity if I want that. Hmm. So, saw or maybe, you know, iron grip. Right now, I have disarm immunity at 100%. If I actually take off that, um. That, uh, you know, thing for. Oh, come on, inventory, pop up, please. There, yeah, we'll pop it up that way. So right now, this, like, you know, basically is giving me, like, you know, the iron grip. If I take it off, my character loses, like, you know... Yeah, it goes down to, like, disarm 59, so I can be disarmed if I like, take it down that far. The thing is, I can always get rid of this arm with, like, you know, a talent, but... You know what, let's go for the saw projectile, this for the last little bit. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in a saw projector. That'll be, like, my tier 4 I'm here. And that can be used, like, in battle, so... There it is. So that'll basically cause um, damage over time. A lot of damage over time. Quite a lot of damage over time. And there's that thing that basically, like, you know, fear stuff. Alright, well that's out of the way. So, that's just a little bit tinkering, just showing off the tinkering, because that's, that's something you can do in this game, and I haven't really been showing it off enough. Alright, you know what I think I'm gonna do? This may be foolish of me, but let's try going back to Ur Ursula's host over here. We'll try taking out a force giant that you know ran away from. If I can take it off, or take it on, I want to take it on, so we'll see. I'm still gonna take damage in here, but whatever. Um... I picked that once. Where are you, buddy? There he is. Alright, we're gonna basically start off this battle with a vital shot. And I crippled them, so that's an achievement, I guess. I did something. I'll heal up a little bit. He's gonna actually try and burn off my sustains if I'm not careful, so... Let's move away. I'll try using the condensate right here to basically hit him there a little bit. And I can try firing mind drones up in this direction, I guess. Oh, the bastard's invisible, of all things. 
Well, that's gonna be annoying to fight, but you know, nothing uh, too severe. Let's um, uh, let's go with what? Hmm. So it's worth knowing that it takes like a Psy and Steam cost. Let's just do a regular Psy shot on there. Because he's invisible, I'm actually tempted to do this right now, so... I'll stop him in his tracks so he can't approach for a little bit. Yeah, this guy isn't taking any fire damage because I think he's fire immune, so... There's that to watch out for, but whatever. Okay, that's out of the way. Oh, he just uh, did something else to me and I missed him. Let's go like this. Ow. I wetted him, so that's good. Let's get rid of that bring effect. I'm going to do boiling shot on him and maybe hurt him. Of course, he missed. I think he got rid of his wet effect too. That's annoying. I think he actually can get rid of like effects if he's inside his own flames like that, so that's why he gets to get rid of the thing right there. Let's try firing the saw blade at him. That will uh, hurt him a little bit for a while, I think. Alright, this is a stun to bring shock, so... Get that off of me now. Move here. And he did that, basically, so... Let's jump over here. The only thing about this guy is that, you know, he's not, you know, taking any damage to fire, so... Some of my stuff, I think, does fire damage. Let's, um, fire that. There's fire flash. That will hurt if it hits me, so... Let's go... Like this. Yeah, there's the fire flash going off. If he just wants to sit, you know, around waiting for me, I can use this. Okay, there he is right now. He didn't move, so I can hit him with a vital shot. I missed the vital shot again. He can take off my sustains, I think, if, I, if I'm not watching it, so I'm being very careful not to get hit by that. That was, like, the abilities he's basically got. We'll hit him with, with that stuff, I guess. Okay, there he is again. Let's, um... Hit him with a shot like that. Move away. Heal up. And there he is again. Let's go, um... Yes, we killed him! So there we go, we killed the, the, the giant, finally. Those guys are just, you know, a terror to fight against. Here's Shocking Edge, I already got that. Not gonna help me. Just trying to the tides. But this false is finally done. Hooray! And I started to heal up from something. Oh, right, I have Vitality. Remember Vitality? It goes up whenever I, you know, um, start using it, basically, if it loses too much health. For all the vitality. Aha. That must be free stuff, but I don't really need it. Or I can't really use it, rather. No, that's really important, so I'm not going to worry about it. What's this item from? The Sack Maelstrom from? Is that from one of my items? Or is it from one of my uh, Tinkers? Juggernaut. It must be from one of my uh, Tinkers. The Sack thing. Interesting.
Let's make sure it's not some a Taunt in here, is it? No. Okay, seriously, where is this coming from? Yeah, that's not that really powerful, so I'm not going to worry about the talent. Never mind. Alright, well, let's, um, you know, let's just do this. Out we go. Alright, well, that was kind of interesting. I sort of, like, wasted a little bit of time there. Let's go do a level of, like, you know, the Palace of Fumes, I guess. Now, the Palace of Fumes is a pretty long dungeon to be in, by the way. And it kind of alters as you go through it. Oops, this guy is, uh, possibly dangerous. He either crippled me. That's actually going to slow me down. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to... Saw him a little bit. Let's hit him with, um, that a little bit. Make him bleed some more. Well, he's out of the way. And look at that, I've got this massive sight radius now because, like, you know, I've got all this stuff on. That gives me sight radius. Yeah, look at this. I have a vision range of 14 and a light race of 8, so I have very good sight radius of this character. Alright, let's go like, um... That. I'm actually going to punch you with a vital shot. I'm going to force you away. And we'll go like... That to basically hurt all those guys. And while we'll do this to... Kill those guys. Some of this guy survived being, um, you know, pelt of all its stuff. Now, what's happening here? Stuff is happening of some sort. We're gonna do that. Hopefully, I kill everything. I'm not sure if I did, though. Oh, there's a guy over there. We're going to basically do this, I think. I'll do a little bit of damage, and then we'll go... Alright, so that doesn't go in a line, this thing right here, that's worth noting. Here's that. We'll do that a little bit. Ow, what's hitting me so much? That's being annoying, whatever this guy's doing. He's right there, so let's try doing that and finishing him off. Rare, so they're like just annoying to fight. There he is. Wonder where this guy was. Let's go like this. And we'll do that. We're slowly just fishing off everything that comes in my way. And for some reason, these guys just get spawned here. No idea why, but whatever. Oh, it's this guy right here. It's a necromancer. That makes sense. Pow, we'll do that. Pow, we'll do that. So in a haze of himself, that's gonna be annoying to fight, but whatever. It's in the way. 
Um, we'll do that to stun these guys. Teleport. Where'd he go? By the way, these spies are pretty fast, I think, so. Yeah, that needs to be dealt with this guy on here. Do that. Finish that guy off. The mechanical repair bot's also a nuisance, but not as big a nuisance, so. Let's drop that there. Kill those guys. I'll set that there for now. Let's go, um. Keep those guys from getting closer. Finish him off. They're right there, so let's go like this. We'll drop that right there. My keyboard isn't like, you know, recognize my key presses because it's always, it's always fun. Even in a game like this, which is turn based. Hey, look at that, it's Buddy. Boom. He is not dead yet, that's kind of annoying. There we go, we killed it. Alright, let's, um. Set my thing over here and just jump like that. They will not survive without their master. Literally, they won't. You know, th think about that. I actually have a project point I could throw into something. So, there's this here. Basically, I have to have a light radius of 10 or more for it. Probably don't have a light radius of 10 or more. Huh. Well, whatever. Um, why don't I have a light radius of 10 or, 10 or more? I only got a light race of 8, apparently. Huh. I, I guess I need to get, like, you know, more... Um, light rays than something else, which I don't have at the moment. Well, that's annoying. I basically, like, you know, can't get that project now, but whatever. A project I could get would be, like, Rexxer's Cunning, and if I died, then I could show it off. Or I could, like, you know, not worry about it, and just, you know, not worry about it. Could get this for, like, you know, um, stuff. Yeah, we'll get Giant Leap, why not? Giant Leap's always fun to get. I got Giant Leap! Now I can jump at people! And there is um, Destructress in, in, in play, in Petra of the Sky. Here's Butcher. He had corruption, madness, or eccentric form. The halfling Butcher by name Caleb once took to eating his can instead of cattle. His spirit was never edited, and nobody knows where he disappeared to. Only the blade remains stuck fast in the blade back block. Leave the car and said, This was fun, let's do it again sometime. Ow! Hitting me for stuff, it's always painful. Oh well, another one. Okay, let's go like um, that to start out here. We'll drop off that. And what's this doing? This is making me reduce my resistance, which sucks. Border. Let's go like this. Kill that guy. Easy enough to survive all that. Hey, kill that giant. Cool. Let's uh, do this to this guy. Kill the Eddie Rider. Steam Power Gauntlets! Gauntlets, with, but with steam power! Alright, let's see what these do. So, right now I'm using these things to basically give me a Juggernaut and all this other nice stuff, but... Oh, that's where I'm getting this arm immunity. Cool. 
But I'll take these off, I think. Hmm, he's giving Sai's turn. Ah, give me Project Saw. Oh wait, that's a from this, isn't it? Yeah, I can protect soft for now. All right, so this guy is giving me um, the steam power gone. So this is our set item. All these are is better, straight up, but we'll put them on. Now, note that I have like two steam power items here. So this is basically giving me, um, you know, no mental save, but it's giving me like, you know, all this other stuff. Strength, constitution, armor, defense, sight radius. Well, those are probably better to put on. Basically, I'll, um, that'll be an awesome thing to use. The steam powered gauntlets. I wasn't really using Juggernaut anyways, so I'm not going to worry about that. And go off. Nothing else in here I don't think of, of note that I want to keep. Yeah, nothing in here I really care, care about. Let's melt it down. Melt it down. And there we go, we got some stuff like, you know, melting us all down. Lumps of Vortidum. I wish I could see where my ingredients listed are. Boy, I just got some ingredients for stuff. Got some gold leaves, I got some like, other stuff. Hmm. I'm tempted to get like the uh, the life support suit here. Though I may want to get like you know the other thing, the steam powered armor, because I got the other stuff for it. That requires spit four, electricity five, and mechanical five. I could make that with a lot of you know um, skill. All right, what's well, this level? We'll go do the next one, I guess. Drop that here. Boom. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. It's like they keep walking to my firing range. Steam Tech Property! Access the store. What has he got? So he's got some guns in here. They're all tier five, by the way, at this point, because I'm in like you know the part where it's like you know everything's trying to kill me at maximum power. Um, Burns and spill energy. That's okay, but I don't really need arcane disrupting bullets, though they are pretty powerful. I will say that 70 damage is nothing to scoff at. Um, how much damage do I do? I do like you know. Uh, I think this is okay to keep around for now. Though before I do anything, let's look at my weapon here. I got a tier 4 weapon right now, a fire range of 10. It basically has, like, you know, all this other stuff on it. You have what? You've got throat seeking here. There's that one. It basically has, you know, attack speed of 111%. That's uh, faster striking, basically. That basically has the arcane vortex when stuff hits. That lets me change my resistances, give me strength, and, you know, it's a nice little weapon, but whatever, not for me. Hmm. I really like this one right here. I mean, it's got that swiftness thing to it, so it goes really fast. Though this has global speed on it, that's also good as well. Um... Let's get this one. And I'll equip this to my weapon. And you can just uh, go to Kruk now. There's another diamond to pick up.
There we go. Kill those guys. By the way, I'm attacking that guy when I get really close to it with my, you know, weaponry. That's something I can do right away, so that's something I'm doing. Let's go like, um... That. And we'll go like... That. Do this. Kill that guy. I don't want to get hit by the flame shot, so let's just move off for now. I don't know who I just killed, but I just killed him. I'm level 45. Two more class points to throw somewhere. Alright, so this lets me enter stuff to basically reduce their damage. That requires probably a, a save, so... And it takes a lot of side power. I think I'll just go, like, boost this up a little bit so I can do more da mind damage and get, like, more Psy if I need it. When you want to use that skill. I get to use it, but it'll be useful to use it when I want to Psy. There's some more lore. By the way, this is, like, interesting how, like, the council meetings work. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, he used his armor to teleport somewhere. And there's his restoration speech, this guy here. Here's this guy again. We'll just pop him off before he does anything. He did something, but whatever. Then I missed. Let's do that. We'll go with um, that. Well, that's another level out of the way. So the Palace of Fumes, it's a little bit bigger than like your standard levels, kind of like, you know, this is like your, your, one of your end game, um, like, you know, um, dungeons you're going through at this point. They're taking a little bit longer to go through. Eh, don't really care about that. I find Vortran stuff I can melt down though, which is, a, you know, a happy thought. I can like melt this stuff down. That can be tracked, that can be useful. I'm gonna keep that around because that might be useful for actual tracking purposes. Let's do this. Get rid of that with this. Now, here's uh, something to watch out for the Necropsych. So, covered in arcane ruins of death, this steam giant means business. So, this guy here, he's like a super necromancer type of character that has like some special abilities. Basically, when you kill him, something bad happens. Black guy. Basically, watch. So, when you kill this necropsych, he basically turns into a ghost. So, the spirit of a recently deceased necropsych, it means painful, it, it means most painfully, but seems impervious to most worldly things. Essentially, this guy is like, you know, um, impossible to kill, so you have to basically, like, you know, wait for him, like, to phase out. They all immediately die to those sticker sites, basically, is what's happening. Um. Okay, we're gonna do that down to kill that guy. Hello. Oh, come on, I missed him? That's annoying. And that happened. I'm not sure if I knocked him back there or if he disengaged, but whatever. Let's 
drop that there. Do this. Finally, I killed that guy. That's the only thing about those guys, so I'll keep doing that type of thing. And I missed, of course. Let's fire that there. I'll take all my side to use that. So, I have like um, these shots here. I need more side to basically use this. So I'm gonna hold off on using like any like you know attacks that like might take that type of stuff up. Uh, I think I missed my saw there, but whatever. Let's go like this. I put the side worm in him, so hopefully I'll get some side back. Still getting some side. I'm out of bullets. Well, there we go. I won. I battled a one. Scale of Krolter. A heavy skirt, uh, a shirt of scale metal converted from remains of Krolter, whose armor um, was like temple shields. So that gives me also stuff. It gives me Inferno armor, maximum life. So this gives me all this stuff: blindness, stun, and not back, as well as like you know those resistances. That gives me that stuff. It looks like it's like the same armor, but this gives me like, you know, more life and a inferno versus like this. I'm gonna say this is probably better than chromatic harness, so I'm not gonna worry about this too much, but um This is part of a setup apparently, so Krotar's head would turn up at the heat. We'll keep it around for now, why not? I've got the increments for it for a moment. Hello. Let's do that, and we'll go like this. There we go. Access to the council meetings. There's a vault. There we go. Kill that guy. Hey, another one of those. Arcane inside, access to He's probably got some uh, stuff in here. He's got pearls, he's got moose stones. Why not buy him just for, maybe for like, you know, crafting purposes. He's got some torques in here. He's got the overpowered thing in here. He's got this overpowered thing in here. Those give me shields to like certain types of damage. There's this stuff. And staves. Not gonna really worry about this stuff, but I can send them to the Kark Pride for now. Slowly killing everything that's alive. This is the way down. Oh, I got pinned. Well, there's pinning. It happens. That still hit me, apparently. Podcaster, from body, mind, from body, mind, body. My, mind, body. So, there's a steam gun. On hitting with a mind start, deals physical damage equal to your steam power and radius one around a target, so... This is basically for like side shots. Basically it gets you damage multiplier, firing range, arm penetration. On um, weapon it deals mind damage based on mind power. Uh, vacuum shot does a little bit uh, you know more less cooldown. Blunt shot is like quicker. That's okay to use. Sure, we'll put that on. That's um That's an okay weapon to put on, I think. This one's nice, it gets me nature and fire, but that gets me like, you know, mind damage and a burst radius and one that does physical repulsion, so... Alright, well... One moment, I'll just uh, say...
That's for Barony, by the way. You might see Barony let's play in the future with him. There's another weapon, the Annihilator. So, if there's a tier 5, it must be held with both hands. There's a, there's like, you know, uh, um, like a du dual, dual wielding steam gun. Fire rate increases while firing up to 5 shots per turn. Resets to 5 turns with blah blah. I should probably turn off my friend list, but whatever, I'm gonna, you know, be seeing you in a moment. Alright, there's a vault here, but we'll deal with that in our time. We're going to, um, vacate the area. Come on, please work. There we go. We're basically done with this, like, you know, um, you know, this, uh, Let's Play episode, I think, so... I'll go play some Barony with that guy, and, uh, we'll go from there. Indeed, alrighty.